get set up here and go up to the pay station and pay. Try to get this fixed up here before it gets dark. Well, hope they won't mind. I just kind of scratched my campsite number on here. I'll put my ticket in there. And I'll hang this on my window. The number matches the slip I put in there, so that should be all they care about. We're at West Morris Mountain Campground. And so much for a stealthy bus. You can really see that thing standing out amongst all these trees and greenery. Definitely won't get lost here. Just look around and look for the big green bus. Well, with any luck, this thing will start. I hope I haven't ran it in a long time. So we finally got the generator working here, got it plugged in. So we have power, got these LED light strips working now. And if you hear the hum in the background, that's actually my air conditioning because it got pretty warm today. I went ahead and turned the AC on. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a few more things here and get myself situated and figure out about dinner tonight. So uh, stick around. Well guys, I got all set up here now. Got the generator running. It's running great. Got the uh, air conditioner going because it's a little hot here. Got up to about 70 something today. So I'll let that run for just a little bit and cool it off in here. It's a little toasty, but it's getting cool really quick. I got my bed all fixed up. Don't laugh at my decor. That's my daughter's decorating for you. So I'm good to go tonight. I got a great place to sleep here. And uh, uh, on the way over here, I stopped and got some uh, hamburgers. So I'm gonna make uh, some bacon cheeseburgers tonight for supper. And uh, got plenty to drink, got water. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing something, but I'll find out here shortly. So uh, let me get my cooking stuff out and see if I can get something started. Because I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. It's about 6.30 now. It's time to eat for me. Uh, I didn't get out here until 5.30, 5.45. It was just starting to get dark. I had just enough time to get all that set up outside. I'll take you out there and show you around in just a little bit it's kind of dark so uh, we'll look around a little better tomorrow but right now my main objective is food <laughs> so uh stick around let's get some food started all right guys i'm ready to cook some supper now i stopped by the store on the way over here and i uh, was looking around for some meat wasn't sure what to cook and actually found this 100 percent angus beef here on sale for 3.99 so i uh, can't beat that so i'm gonna make a nice angus burger and uh got some thick sliced bacon here i think i'll cook that in this pan here first and i need to re-season it anyway you know i love to cook on cast iron and um, this one's got a little bit of rust in it it's been sitting for just a bit so i'm gonna get this thing cleaned up and cook some bacon in there that should get it nice and ready for a nice big slab of angus beef and got some cheddar cheese to go on that as well so uh Let's get this pan here cleaned up. Get it turned on. Let's see, got my handy dandy lighter. Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it heated up first. Get the pan warm and just put a little water in it. And scrub it around with the rag here. So this is my setup here tonight. Don't really have anything fancy. Just got the propane burner here. But that'll work just fine for tonight. I also have a little small one here too. I might use that for something else. I'm not sure yet. Got some coffee for in the morning. And I uh, also got some breakfast stuff. But let's get this pan cleaned up here and get to cooking. Got a good sizzle here now. Let's add a little bit more water and do a little scrubbing. Let's 
good. Now I'm just going to put a little oil in here and get it re-seasoned a bit. Just so my bacon don't stick too bad. Yeah, a little bit more. I'll just let that burn off and until it steams a little bit and should be good to go. I'm gonna tell you what, it's smelling good in here now. While that bacon's finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and pat me out a nice big patty here. Oh yeah, oh, that's a patty. Alright, this bacon looks done. I'm sure I got a spatula somewhere in here. But make do with what you got. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that off. That should work. Definitely want to leave some of that in the bottom. That'll make that burger nice. Yeah. One goes to Betty. That's finishing up. I'm going to need a fresh baked Kaiser roll here. That should work out just fine. That'll make a good burger. I don't know about you, but I really like Duke's mayonnaise on my burger. I also like onions, lettuce, tomato, but I don't have any of that. So it's all good. That's a good burger. It's hard to beat. Steaks, chicken, hamburger meat, onions, anything cooked on cast iron. So good. Apologies if you hear the noise in the back. We got the air conditioner running right now. We got a little steamy in here with all that bacon grease but it smells really good I'm sure if I open some windows here on the bus and that smell gets out I'll have animals from all over the place coming around here now but, uh, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the supper and I'm gonna eat every bit of it
catch you guys in a few. Look around the outside. Got a picnic table here. And the lamp post. Got my propane lantern up there. see but we do have a fire pit here I'm not planning on making a fire tonight it's a little warm outside for a fire I do love to sit by one but uh, and everything's soaking wet out here rain all day yesterday here so uh, that's just a little look around the outside but we'll get out in the morning and I'll show you around some more uh, and do a little hike up here and see what I can find. Uh, that's it for the outside here. I'm going to turn this lantern off, I guess. And we'll, I'll go inside. I'll show you a few things I've done inside the bus. Well, if you'll take a look here, you'll see uh, I've made a cord to plug into the generator with a, a 30 amp twist lock RV plug here. So uh, this goes inside to a, a breaker box which runs the AC up top and I've got a separate circuit for a couple of outlets in there. I'll show you that inside. So right here is where it comes in from the outside and this goes into a small breaker box here where I've got a breaker for the air conditioner and another breaker for some power outlets. And you can see I've, I don't have the wall plates put on it yet. I'll do that after I get the walls finished here but this outlet's got USB jacks on it so I can keep my phone and devices charged right there. And I've got a button here turns the lights on and off I also use an app on my phone to control those and I've put LED strips all the way around the bus and I've got another outlet wired it runs up in these ribs so when I put the ceiling boards up it'll all get covered up but got another outlet there that's for the refrigerator and of course I'll be putting more outlets in here once I get everything finished and figure out how I want to do it. it still smells like bacon in here. It's awesome. So uh, I'm going to try to do a little cleaning up here from, from my supper and sit back and relax just a bit. It feels nice in here, especially with that air conditioning going. I'll probably end up turning that off tonight. Uh, I don't think I need that all night long. and I can just use my headlamp for light in here. But uh, I'm going to kick back and take it easy for just a bit. I'll catch you guys in a few. Put a little edge back on. I noticed when I was cutting that bacon earlier, it was a little bit duller than normal. I can really feel when it starts to run smooth, I know it's gotten the burrs off. You can just feel it. it's not any resistance anymore. Another thing I like to do, I'll take my leather belt off and hold it down on the floor with my foot and draw on it a few times and that really put a good edge on it. I'll probably go ahead and clean my EDC. It's clear.
All right. Back in business. It's always good to take a little time when you've got some spare time to take care of your equipment. And that's just what I've got right now is a little spare time. So I've got my everyday carry pistol nice and clean again. My knife is sharp as a razor. Great. All is cleaned up now. Time to get ready for bed. Guys, I'm about to shut these lights off and the air condition get this generator turned off and I'm calling it a day I'm pretty tired it's been a long day I worked all day and then came home and threw some stuff together to come out here and take a quick camping trip so uh, I'm gonna call it a night and I'll see you guys in the morning While that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and get my pan here and start making some bacon. I think I'll have a bacon egg sandwich with some of that leftover bread that I had last night. That was pretty good. That should make a good breakfast sandwich as well. And we've got some fresh brown eggs. I think I'm going to scramble eggs this morning. Fresh Kaiser roll, some mayonnaise, two eggs, and bacon. Good to me. All 
I like a little bit of cream and sugar in my coffee. Or Splenda, actually. That's good. Well, I'm gonna have a seat and enjoy this sandwich. I am hungry. raise chickens myself and would collect their eggs until I got too busy with work and I just couldn't keep up with them so I gave the chickens away but these taste a lot like the eggs that I would get for my chickens you really can't tell the difference the, the yolk is darker it just tastes more rich it's so much better I'm gonna sit and enjoy the sandwich and I'll catch you guys in a few Well guys, that's a wrap for this video. Uh, I thought I might spend some time this morning going to hike up to the top of this mountain here and show you guys around and walk around the campground here a bit. But uh, I just checked the forecast and it looks like we've got some heavy rain coming here within the next hour. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the bus, pack everything away inside and try to unhook the power here and take the blocks out from underneath the tires. I put those on there last night. I was thinking of the, having to lose air pressure and the thing started rolling, I would have hit the trees here because it does have air brakes, but it's all good. So, uh, But I did sleep good last night and I had a good time here. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Until next time, see you soon. Thanks for watching.